what an exciting time. The product's finally ready to go. We're working on the press releases. It's time. How do we explain it now? Yeah, that, that's a, an interesting point. You know, we've got three pilots of world leader Salesforce automation running, mm -hmm. and all three are going tremendously well. Um, technically, Cus customers are really happy. Oh, oh they, uh, love yeah. they love technically, it. Technically, it's a Salesforce automation system, but in reality, it's a deal flow system that enables sales teams of high technology products sell more, win more deals, and do it faster. There's not another tool out there like that. So a lot of what we're struggling with during the press release is how do we, how do we categorize this thing? There's nothing out there like it. Um, it, it. It's specific to technology firms, and it beats the pants off of anything out there. And some of it too is, you know, we're talking about the deal flow, we're talking about them winning deals, and that is, it is what's different about it, but how do you really describe when they have this thing, what makes the difference so fast? When you're with the customers, and you're seeing the customers all the time, when you're with the customers, they're saying it's different, they're saying it's amazing, what is, how do we convey that properly? Sure. We can take, I'll, I'll, I'll try to put it in a few points. We can take a salesperson that's doing okay and put them on this system and they will be able to take and look at seven critical success factors mm -hmm. for winning complex deals and apply those during the process while they're working with the customer to accelerate close times and win bigger and better deals. And there are value props right there, the questions are right there, and it's objective. I think so many sales tools, you're asking your salesperson to say, where do you think you are? And this one, it gives the value prop, it gives the questions, and unless they're really answered, that, that scale doesn't go up, so it's very objective. So I'm gonna go a little off the tangent here. I started my career off in selling computer-aided dispatching systems. So I learned right on that by using a computer system mm -hmm. to make actions happen right. uh, was the mentality. And then I spent 20,000 hours researching, selling, and I was the number one sales producer in every company I worked for for the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. And I applied these two concepts together of using a computer-aided system to automate the best practices for winning sales and wow, did it come out great. But then you can see why all that expertise and it's in one simple to use tool can really help someone else replicate those same behaviors and those same results. And that's, I think, what's so different about it that people notice. What was interesting was that when we had some salespeople starting to use it, um, they had this dazed look in their eyes because when they actually put their deal into the system mm -hmm. where they thought they were almost done, and they ran it through the system, they realized that they were still in what we call the red zone, meaning they were unable to, to, to they, do, they weren't doing all the things. They didn't have access to all decision makers. They didn't have a competitor management plan in place. They didn't build a return on investment case. They didn't do the things mm -hmm. that we know great salespeople do to win high technology sales. So they realized that they weren't as far down their sales as they could have been but they were simply able to build into the plan what they needed to do and move that sale forward, and it's exciting. It even happened for us, if we're honest about oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> we started putting our own deals in there, and same thing. Yeah. You know, and so you know what to do, and, and that's part of it too, is people sell for a long time, they've had a level of success, but if you do as much of the right thing as you can every single time, and we even run our own deals through our own tool and see more that we can do to make those deals close. Well, it, it's a little embarrassing when you're the writer and designer of the application, and when it goes live, I've got, mm -hmm. I have to put my own sales in there and realize that I've got, that I couldn't Work get <laughs> the system to run all seven critical success factors and show green. So I would go through and look at what have I missed and realize mm -hmm. that I'm missing things and that there are things that I have to do and actions that I have to take with customers to move this deal from a 20% to a 30% mm -hmm. to a 70% close. So by doing that, I won a few extra deals. And I think the most experienced salesperson, if you try it, you'll see, really. <laughs> yeah. The point is, is that there are so many systems out there today. Uh, I, I won't name them, but there's eight or ten of them that are commonly known. And when they call them sell, those applications Salesforce automation systems, I tend to call them Salesforce administration mm -hmm. systems. Um, more around administering the... the, the um, tracking history, tracking contacts. Things the, like that. There's not an application out there today that tells a salesperson what to do mm -hmm. right in the middle of the sale and pushes them through the action, or the action things that they have to do to win more deals. And that's what we've built here. And it's exciting. It's smart and it's action oriented. Yeah.
Yeah. So we're going to be press releasing later on this week. You'll see our press release on Twitter, on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we begin blogging, and our plan is to simply every week um, put out a new blog and talk to the customers and talk to pe people that are following us, all of our contacts, uh, to talk about how this is going. Right. Hey, it, it, it's a new application. We expect that there's going to be some bugs, some flaws, and some problems with it. But uh, we want to talk about that just as openly as we're talking about the exciting parts of it. And can't wait to hear what you think. And you'll see what our customers think. And, and that'll be the most fun part of it all. Yeah. Um, we talked about deal flow. Uh, there, there's a, also a sales management component of it that ensures, mm -hmm. that enables CEOs or VPs of sales or sales managers to track exactly what their salespeople are doing, whether those salespeople are local, global, or international. Mm -hmm. They're able to see what they're doing from what steps they need to do to move forward and win more deals. So it's, it's an exciting application all the way around. Um, I'm going to say something that's off the, off, the, off the Richter scale, but I'm going to tell you, it's going to change how high technology companies win more deals.